this is my CNC machine. It has been a hero, but it's time uh, for a uh, overhaul. It's not uh, well suitable anymore. And um, also the electronics are all over the place. So I thought I'd make a uh, version two of it and show you how it's made. Here's the very first version of the CNC machine. And there are my clothes drying. All I knew is that I wanted a large Z-axis range and I was inspired by the 3D printer that I had at the time. A few versions later, this is what I've been using for a couple of years now. I'll disconnect everything, take it out of the box, show you how it's made and what needs improvement. I made a frame out of 4040 aluminium. I made this box for soundproofing and the controls consist of a Raspberry Pi and Arduino Uno with CNC shield. I'm taking out the dust protection which reveals the linear guide rails and the lead screws. I use the same type for Y X and Z axis, but for the Z axis I use two lead screws, one on each side uh, together with the guide rail. So it's out, so the table moves and is the Y axis, this is the X axis here, and for the Z axis there are two motors and uh, this gantry moves up and down. The part that holds the spindle is 3D printed and it's too soft so that's one of the things needing improvement and the parts that hold the guide rails are also 3D printed which are too soft. Well this one is even cracked. Take that out. Take out the spindle support which is the X axis which is supported on the Z axis. The first thing that I make is the table, which is also the y-axis, and I install the guides, and the lead screw nut, and that's how it looks like. The new table also has four nuts for installing the sacrificial board that one puts on top of the table to be damaged. I made these aluminium brackets to replace the 3D printed ones and I put the table and Y axis in place. To improve the Z axis I make these holes in the aluminium profile and then I thread them and I put bolts to secure the linear guides. To improve the X gantry, I paint it grey, I install the motor support and the nuts for the Z axis, one on each side. Looking good. I made this aluminium plate to replace the previous wooden plate and it gets the linear guides for the X axis. Then it gets this plate that secures the spindle into the X-axis plate. I fasten it with the three bolts, I put it exactly right and then I weld it so that it doesn't go anywhere. I install the drive nut and then fasten it to the gantry slides. It feels nice, rigid and without play. I fastened the lead screw into the X motor and installed the gantry into the Z axis. Then I installed the spindle, fasten it and it feels rigid and without play. To control the machine I use a Raspberry Pi with BCNC and I access the Raspberry Pi via remote desktop with my laptop. The Raspberry Pi connects to the Arduino Uno via USB, the Arduino Uno is running Gerbil, and the um, Arduino Uno gets the CNC shield on top to power the motors. Here is an overview with everything connected, and let's give it a go. 
x axis z axis and y axis let's put it back inside of the box which is the tight fit now where everything is inside and connected the wires go through the box and out into the control box and i'm also using this camera so that i can see how it's going remotely for that i use the motion software on the raspberry pi And I put the sacrificial board on top and tighten it with four bolts. And it's time for a test. I decided to show you the making of a part that requires the high Z axis range. It's a vase made out of cork. I also make a plate out of wood. And here's a couple of examples of how they look with plants. And I sell these in an Amsterdam street market. And I left the soundproofing for last. The box, I started with a wooden frame, then I added carpet and rock wool for sound dampening. Then I added a plastic sheet to prevent the flow of air. Then mass loaded vinyl, 10 kilograms per square meter this. And then finally, also for sound blocking, drywall, which is also pretty heavy.